Hey guys, this is Miss Star and Harper um, talking to you guys about this week's vocabulary words. This week we're on our second unit and we're going to be on lesson one of that unit. So this week we're going to be working with the words that contain equi, iden, and home. So these prefixes mean equal or same. So all the words have to do with being equal or being the same. Our first word is equinox. An equinox is two times of the year um, in spring and fall when the sun crosses the plane of the Earth's equator. And the equator is a line that divides Earth in half between the um, upper and lower hemispheres. And day and night are equal length. So it happens twice a year and it's just a day when there's the same hours of darkness as there is light. Equatable. Describing that something something that is not fair to all, but is not necessarily equal. So in this picture right here, you see that this is technically fair because they all have the same box. But it's not equal because the shorter person does not get to see the game while the taller person does. This, although it may not be fair because this man doesn't have any boxes, this child gets one and this child gets two, that may not necessarily be fair fair but it is equal because now that they all have equal access to watching the game equivalent being essentially equal to something so you might have heard equivalent when you're talking about fractions in math class um finding equivalent fractions so equivalent just means equal homozoic so think about homozoic as the bombs that miss savannah is teaching you Homozoic means of or related to parts of the world where plant and animal life are similar. So areas like North Carolina and Tennessee, those would be pretty much homozoic areas because we both have the same type of climate and the same type of animals and vegetation. However, Florida and Alaska would not be homozoic because they have two very different climates. They do not have the same types of animal and plants there. Our next word is homogenize. Um, that means to treat, and we're usually talking about milk, so that fat is mixed evenly throughout. So at a dairy farm, before the uh, milk is sold in stores, it has to be homogenized. It has to be mixed so that the fat in that milk is evenly distributed and it's not like clumpy or anything gross like that. Homonym, words that are pronounced or spelled the same but have different meanings. So it's got to be pronounced the same or spelled the same. So in this case, deer and deer, they are not spelled the same, but they are pronounced the same and they have different meanings. So that would make these homonyms. Deer is in like my dear Aunt Sally um, has a pet deer is in the animal. Identical, being exactly like um, certain sets of twins. My sister's the sisters were identical twins. The only way you could tell them apart were by their, they won more glasses. So identical could refer to twins or it could refer to, um, I have two identical pairs of pants. They look, are exactly alike. Next word is identification. That means res resonating, recognizing, or identifying something, showing to prove who you are. So identification is usually like a passport or a driver's license or a student card, anything that shows your picture and verifies your name and where who you are. Our next word is sequel. Sequel is a movie, book, or book that continues a story um, begun in another. So in my opinion, um, sequels are never as good as the original. So sequel, that could be a book or a movie. I'm going to wrap this up quick because Harper's getting fussy. Unidentified. So the prefix un means not. So basically the word just means not identified. So unidentified means not known or identified. So there was an unidentified object flying in the sky. That just means it was something that we don't know what it was. All right. This was Miss Hart and Harper. Again, we're working on 2-1 vocabulary words, words that have um, the prefix equal, ident, or home. And that means equal or same. Have a great day. Oh, <laughs>